can we use Sysimos Map and Heartbeat to search through billions of social media conversations and only find the ones that are relevant to us? With Google searches, people are typically looking for the answer to a question. Most of the time, that answer is found in the first few results, which is why most people never need to scroll past the first page. For example, if we're looking for information on Timothy's coffee, we can enter Timothy's into Google. The first four results are relevant to our search. However, the fifth result is for a pub, which is not what we are looking for. So why does this matter? When looking at the Google search, we can simply ignore the results that don't answer our question. With our Timothy's example, we only want to include conversations about Timothy's the coffee maker and not Timothy's the pub, church, or fine cigar maker. How do we go about excluding all the noise and finding just relevant conversations? The solution? Boolean queries. What is a Boolean query? A Boolean query is a way to combine words and phrases in order to search through large amounts of data. Think of it as an easier way to find what you're looking for in a very crowded space. How do Boolean queries work? We construct Boolean queries using different combinations of operators and symbols to find more relevant results. The three operators used are AND, OR, and NOT, and two additional symbols, quotes and parentheses. To illustrate how we search using Boolean queries, let's take a look at an example. Here we have a sea of social media conversations. This box is where we'll enter our queries. Let's say we are only interested in conversations about coffee. Entering it in our search box allows us to only view conversations that mention that keyword. If we want to be more specific and only look for conversations that mention a unique phrase, such as specialty coffee, then we simply enter it in quotation marks. Quotation marks tell the search to find results where those words appear in that order. We are now left with conversations that only include the exact phrase, specialty coffee, and excluding all others. This Facebook post contains our exact search phrase and will be included in our results. However, this tweet, I love that specialty shop, it's great for coffee-flavored cigars, will be excluded. Remember, quotations are a way to create more specific searches. The first operator we'll look at is OR, which allows us to expand our search. Keep in mind that you always have to capitalize operators in order for the search to work correctly. Suppose we're interested in different types of coffee, such as espresso, cappuccino, or cafe mocha. To have any of these three appear within our results, we simply insert the OR operator between them. Adding OR to our search allows us to return even more results from our sea of conversations. Remember, we use OR to expand our search results. Now we'll look at the AND operator, which allows us to narrow our results down. Let's say we're only interested in conversations that include coffee and tea. We simply enter that into our search query. This will eliminate any conversations that include only one of the two terms. Before moving on, it's important to understand the difference between AND and OR. Using AND in a Boolean query will narrow your search results. For instance, if we start our search with just coffee, our sea of conversations identifies quite a few results. Adding AND-T to our search will eliminate all conversations about coffee that don't include any mention of both coffee and tea. However, if we replace AND with OR in our search query, we will expand our results to include all the conversations that mention coffee as well as those that mention tea. Our last operator is NOT, which allows us to exclude results which are not relevant to us. Revisiting our previous search of coffee and tea, let's say we are not interested in conversations about iced cappuccinos. Adding not iced cappuccinos will prevent any conversations that include that phrase from appearing in your results. It's important to always enter AND in front of not in order for your search to work correctly. And as well to add the quotation marks around iced cappuccino so the search only looks for that exact phrase. Here is an example of a blog post that contains all three of our search terms and will not be included in our results. Finally, what happens if we want to combine the use of two or more operators? For instance, what if we'd like to see any mentions of Starbucks and coffee or tea? You could enter two separate searches, one for Starbucks and coffee, 
and another for Starbucks and tea. An even better solution is to use parentheses to combine both searches into one. Parentheses determine the hierarchy in which the search is complete. By enclosing coffee or tea in parentheses, the search first looks for any conversations that include either of those terms. It then looks only through the results of that search to find any conversations that also contain the word Starbucks. To review, when using Boolean queries, remember to always enter phrases in quotations, capitalize all operators, use OR to expand your search results, enclose any groupings in parentheses, use AND to narrow your search results, use NOT to exclude any words or phrases. When entering exclusions, always add AND in front of NOT. On screen, we now see our full Boolean query. After you've mastered these concepts, please check out our advanced Boolean video or speak with your account manager if you have any questions.